My name is Frank Morrison, and I'm the guy that brought you those wonderful works, Dreamweaver and Precious and Proud Divas. I want to tell you a little bit about myself. Um, I'm 35 years old. I started painting from what my mother says when I was four years old. I started writing on walls, I guess you could say. <laughs> um, and um, when I... Was, when I grew up, I guess I always drew, and I would um, come, like, y'all gotta shoot me for a second. I would draw out of comic books, and I would draw different, um, damn, these lights are crazy. But I would draw <laughs> out of comic books, and when I went to um, high school, I, had, I was blessed to have a teacher, her name was Mrs. Moore, and she had basically knocked out all that graffiti that I was doing, and all the break dancing, and she showed me how I could use it in fine art. And so, while I was in high school, like I said, I used to dance and everything, but um, I used to I actually danced with a lady named Sybil. I don't know if you guys are familiar with a video, Don't Make Me Over and uh, Walk On By. And so I used to dance for her. And it was great because it gave me an opportunity while I was in high school to be in movies and videos and on television. I was on this one show in Jersey. I don't know if you guys, anybody from Jersey. Okay. Is, is Brooklyn here? All right, all right. <laughs> but uh, when I was in Jersey, I danced on the show. It was called Steam Pipe Alley. I don't know. It was just, we did a little bit of everything back in those days, except for we missed the opportunity on Soul Train. And that was basically all we did miss. But while I was in high school, we had, um, I was on tour with Guy, and we had gotten a chance to, um, to perform with them. And at the end of the show, they, um, my manager came up to the hotel room, and he was like, Frank and Chris, this is my dance partner, Paris wants you guys. And I was just like, Paris, Paris, Texas, or Paris? And we were just like screaming and hollering. And what that did with that trip to Paris actually showed me, um, it was just amazing because I had one homework assignment. And the homework assignment was to find this one particular piece in the Louvre. And I don't know if anybody's familiar with the Louvre Museum. It's out. Okay, and it takes three days to walk it, and we're on tour, and I'm trying to explain to Sybil I have to do my homework, and she's thinking, okay, all right. So she actually dropped us off at the Louvre, and I didn't know it was that huge, and I walked the museum for like five hours looking for this one particular piece, and I didn't find it, but what I did find was the Picassos, the Rembrandts, these shoes, murals, and these paintings that were, so when I came back to the States, I was just so influenced that I wanted to get into any gallery I could. So while I was in high school, I had an opportunity also to illustrate um, greeting cards for a company out in New Jersey. It's called Me To You. And this is just a little bit of my, uh, so you guys can have something, y'all can go back and tell your friends. And go back and tell the representatives, y'all can tell something. So while I was there, I, uh, I illustrated um, greeting cards in high school. And then after that, I um, basically, I married my wife. And then my wife was like, you're not gonna be doing graffiti on the walls. So I really got serious. <laughs> and I started, so I started going to art galleries and I was like right on the piece. I was like right there. And the, and the gallery owners, this one particular gallery owner basically said, Frank, okay, why you keep coming here? I was dressed like a little thug going up to the gallery. Everybody else was bougie and I'm living here like, you know, going out how I was. But either way, they had introduced me to a company called Essence Art. And Essence Art published my work for the past, well, they published my work for 10 years. And out of the, eight out of the 10 years, I was the number one seller. And so when I left Essence, I just started promoting my own work. And one of the ventures I went out on, I had a clothing line uh, about four years ago with um, a company called Fat Farm. And we had limited edition uh, leather coats that came out, they went for a thousand and it was like, it was really tedious. So we, I basically gave that up. It was just too much work, it was taking too much time and I really couldn't be as creative. When you deal with that company, they expect a product that can come out daily, not hourly, they want it right then and there. And so I left that company and I just said, you know, we just both agreed to, to, to um, leave that alone. I started illustrating children's books. Are you guys familiar with any of the books I've illustrated? Yeah, okay. So I did Queen Latifah, A-Rod, um, and a couple of other books. So I have about 10 books that I've illustrated so far. And, I'm, and that has been taking up a lot of my time. So it, now I get to the divas. Now the divas started from, I don't know if anybody's familiar with my website, but I have uh, categories and the divas come in as a um, soul sister collection. And the soul sisters are basically 
we have a lot of, of negative uh, images of our sisters nowadays. And what I try to display through the Soul Sisters is that, you know, I'm a young African American and I don't look at women the same way as, I don't think they have to be, you know, I don't think they have to look like videos. And I try to display that through my art. And so, and then the meaning behind Dreamweaver, which was you guys sold. Man, I almost didn't get one. But <laughs> the meaning behind Dreamweaver basically was I wanted to portray uh, Harriet Tubman and what it, she must have thought of when she thought of freedom and how she weaved it and how basically the quilt helped un in the Underground Railroad. And that's, that's the meaning behind the Dreamweaver piece. And then we have a piece that you guys carry now is Precious. And Precious is magical to me because basically Precious, anything this young lady touches, she beautifies. Whether it be the flowers, whether it be the skirt touching the ground, it brings the beauty to whatever she touches, it brings from her hair. If you look in the back of her hair, it runs into beauty, like to notes and to birds flying off. So that's basically what I try to persuade with Precious. A lot of times I work in um, mannerisms and surrealism, and, is this, and uh, I also work in cubism. I don't know if you guys carried um, uh, a piece it was called uh, Melody, but I try to sh do a range of art um, when I do work in my, when I do get a chance to paint, my goodness, when I do get a chance to paint, <laughs> these lights is crazy, but um, when I do get a chance to paint, I, I try to work in any medium that I can, or in every medium. I also do collage and um, watercolors, so I'm sure next year we'll start introducing some more works to you guys. Um, ah, man. I think that's it. Um, <laughs> I hope that was 15 minutes, but I really do appreciate everything Ethnic Expression has brought to um, to my family, and I hope it has blessed the people that you have in your collections, and, and I hope this, you know, this little conversation helps with you guys in selling the work.